To all the mangas, manwas, and manwas and webtoon readers out there, here is a list of top 10 game dungeon level up mangas and manwas and manwas and webtoons. I've made this list because I've seen many people who keep asking for game recommendations. I've compiled most of them and will update to help most people. If you can suggest more to the list, please do. Remember to vote for your favorite mangas and manwas and webtoons and be sure to let everyone know why. Okay, then let's begin with our list. Number 10. The World's Strongest Rear Guard. Labyrinth Country's Novice Seeker. The first chapter is an introduction to the world, but doesn't do a good job of making the story seem interesting. But once Theresa is introduced in chapter 2, it becomes a lot more engaging. Once the scariest thing to Arihito Atobi was his workaholic boss, Keoka Egarashi, now this ex-corporate slave faces a world where monster-filled labyrinths are the norm and teamwork is key to survival. While others are eager to charge headlong into battle, Arihito chooses to become a rare guard, a class dedicated to helping allies from the back lines. Number 9. Delicious in Dungeon This is gold. It's got comedy and action. The side characters have motivations, unique appearances, personalities, and backgrounds. What do you get when you cross dungeon adventures and food manga? You get delicious in dungeon where we find our trope of adventurers on a mission to save their lost team member while figuring out how to survive on the food that the dungeon provides. When young adventurer Laos and his company are attacked and soundly thrashed by a dragon deep in the dungeon, the party loses all its money and provisions. They're eager to get right back to it, but there's just one problem. If they set out with no food or coin to speak of, they're sure to eat it on the way. Number 8. The World's Fastest Level Up It's been 20 years since dungeons suddenly appeared in the world. Humanity got supernatural powers like level, status, and skill. Dreaming of becoming rich quickly. A main Rin, an adventurer challenged to capture dungeons even though they possessed a skill unique to even adventurers. He was deemed as incompetent because of the poor usability of the skill. However, the turning point for him came. After years since he started capturing dungeons evolved with a level up, as a result, Rin became an existence unrestricted by the rules of the dungeon. Rin, who became the only singularity, continued to level up with overwhelming speed and climbed to the strongest position in the world to the blink of an eye. This is a story that shouldn't be looked down upon. Number 7. Dungeon Builder, the Demon King's Labyrinth is a modern city. The story is still pretty new, but I can already see some problems developing. I don't like this MC. The plot is interesting enough, but the story is too nice for my taste. The MC's goal is making friends and living happy forever. That could have been interesting, but having an obviously young MC imply that his comrades are also young, and so you'll have a silly story. In a world where demon lords build dungeons and devour human emotions. One rookie demon lord, Procell, has a new idea. Procell seeks to build a revolutionary new dungeon where humans and monsters can coexist. But first, Procell must defeat the Wind Demon Lord. He tells the story and, uh, well, gets better. Number 6. Dungeon Hoiku This one is hilarious, don't miss this one, though this may look like an ordinary Esekai plot, but the comedy of the plot is one of the best. There isn't much to say, and I just love this one. This one is for Esekai comedy action manga fans. Koizumi Takashi is a salaryman and he dies of skin with a banana. If he can reach the magical fountain of purification, which resides at the bottom of a difficult dungeon, he will be allowed into heaven. But to that, he needs to conquer the dungeon by summoning monsters. Number 5. Farmer of Spirits The plot is quite original, and after training for 11 years to research and then become and also, of course, reach the superhuman status, I gave up on my dreams and I returned to the family farm, but suddenly Hava appeared. She's powerful. She is a powerful farming spirit who can make anything grow, even produce that uh, enhances people's powers. 
Now I've got my superhuman ID card, more spirits friends, and mouthwatering grade A plus crops and quest. Will Hava and her friends lead us to an all fame and fortune and change our lives forever? This manga is really refreshing, I love it. Number 4. Maggie in a sand-swept land of caravans, brigands, and adventurers, legends tell of the ominous dungeon towers that suddenly appeared 14 years ago. It's said that by clearing one of these prisons, you can obtain treasure beyond your wildest dreams and even from a contact or a contract with a magical genies of immense power, assuming you make it out alive, of course. In this world, Alibaba is a young rogue who wants nothing more than to get rich by cleaning all the world's dungeons. Starting with the nearby tower, Eamon Aladdin is a curious young boy with a magical flute and a hidden ability. And Morgiana is a slave who can't escape her chains. As their fates intertwine, the three find themselves wearing the land and wandering around the land, battling powerful enemies and taking a stand against powerful forces that seek to corrupt the weak and innocent. It's a pretty good story, to be honest. Number 3. Lord of the Abyss Jiang Mingyu, who obtained mysterious powers in an accident, embarked on the road to upgrade the Abyss system and became a player in order to obtain a better life for his family. Faced with many challenges in the player's career, he found that he's... Well, that's the beginning of all that this was not an accident. But the arrangement of the fate in Underworld, this is actually a good dungeon-type manhwa. Number 2. Live Dungeon This is an amazing manga, the art was beautiful, and the characters were entertaining in an old MMORPG called Live Dungeon before the service was terminated. Kiyotani Sutomu made full use of five notebook PCs to clear the game and was invited to a different world. And then Sutomo was speechless when he saw a live relay of a dungeon capture in the different world. They bulldozed through without any thought of strategy. The misfortune of getting the healer position. Sutomu reinstated the white mage that he had always been his favorite in games and aimed to conquer the dungeon to find the key to his escape from the different world. Number 1 One of the best dungeon mangas out there and one of the fave mangas too. Won Jun Jung, a Korean who became the owner of a poor thief in an attempt to make it prosper, he explores a dungeon and I also appreciate the nation building aspect. All that complaining aside though, it's still generally enjoyable. That's all for today and I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did then give this video a like and share it with your friends and family and also subscribe for more top 10. Stay safe and take care, my name is Zina Khan and I'm the voice of the voiceless. See you next time, sayonara, take care.